How many of mosquito travel at nights? How many of you feel that those mosquitoes are always planning to get into your ears? Well today brothers and sisters, I want to give you three tips to stop that from happening. The last one is the best, so stay tuned. <laughs> Tip one is preliminary. It is to make sure that there is no crack, not a single inch of space through which a mosquito can come in. Now, if you don't have a mosquito net, on your windows or you have a door that has a space at the bottom through which mosquitoes can come what can you do then well you use your brain and you put something to cover it this is what I've done to my window it looks really shabby but it does the trick tip two is use what God has given you your hair what are these meant for if not flaps if you don't have hair to cover your ears put something while you sleep oh. You know, when you're lying down, it's more effective. And it may be hot and uncomfortable, but at least you have that security knowing that nothing's gonna get into your ear. So even when those mosquitoes are singing outside your ear, coming closer and closer, you will not feel that they're actually going to succeed. And that is very comforting, at least to me. Tip three is for those belligerent mosquitoes that just ride through everything that you try to stop them with. They're just there no matter what you do and no matter what you do with your hand, they are there. I'm just actually gonna look up what Google has to say about why mosquitoes come near your ear. Oh, there's a website called mosquitoreviews.com. <laughs> they are actually singing mating songs for each other. That's beautiful. We're like the theatre room for their mating. Just amazing. Both male and female mosquitoes buzz since they both have wings, but you probably won't notice the whine of the males because they don't want to drink your blood. So they stay away from your ears eating nectar while the females come near to annoy you. That's a beautiful purpose. It's actually more than a way to annoy you. It's important to help them find suitable mates. <laughs> What has that got to do with me and my ear? Uh... Very interesting, they're literally singing to each other. Apparently, they have a higher chance of mating if they sing. Anyway, female mosquito, I'm straight one and I am not interested to. So this is what I made this video for, okay? I found out this, this thing, I thought it was really groundbreaking, earth-shattering, and if you've already done it, then please don't hate me. I found that instead of just swiping your hand once, because that doesn't work, you can do that and they're back again because they're so advanced, Tom Cruise is knowing how to do Mission Impossible to get near your ear, okay. So you just swipe once, it's not gonna be effective at all. But if you do it for 10 or 15 times, I found that the past two weeks I've tried this, I'm talking like it's some big research article that I've done with like fucker proof but if you do that 90% of the time they just stay away try it out and let me know if it works for you that's all I wanted to share with you today I know this is one of the shortest videos I've done but aren't you happy about that my name is Leanne Damaris on How To Thursday signing off and I'll see you on Serious Sundays bye and I always try to be like Jesus this ending almost makes me think of what Jesus would have done with a mosquito. You know what? He cursed the fig tree because it didn't give him fruit, so I'm sure he wouldn't have been very happy about the mosquitoes biting his ear. Mm-mm.